But I will say with this next presidential election, I'm very uncomfortable. I just got a feeling between the candidates that uh, slavery coming back. <laughs> like, damn, these last eight years was good. Like, Hillary Clinton, I can't see me voting for her. You know, not because I don't want to see a, a woman in office, though. I would like to see a woman in office. It's just she's so fucking boring. <laughs> she don't have no personality. I don't think she switched her hairstyle or her outfit since we met her the video. <laughs> hey, man, because if I would have known, my bad, I ain't gonna lie, man, I be, I be coming up here, I was supposed to be telling y'all jokes, but all I got is confessions. <clears throat> Get shit off my mind, because I can tell y'all this stuff, but I can't tell, like, I'm remarried now. I can't tell my wife shit. I walk around feeling like a toy doll. You know the old school ones, you put a string that got the program wording. <laughs> put my string, I love you. Put my string, you're beautiful. Put my string, you're sexy. Crazy part, I'm a father, I got daughters, I gotta do the same thing with them. Put my string, daddy loves you. Put my string, I'm proud of you. Put my string, you're sexy. <laughs> Reason being because I feel like I got compliment my daughters before guys get out here compliment her fucker. I got a two year old daughter, I'm like, hey Jay, look, your ass looking right in them pull ups. <laughs> <laughs> the way you went from Walmart brand to pepper faces, dog, like, hey, she looking right. No, I don't want to fuck my daughter, but I don't want no dude to just come out of nowhere and game her up and get her pussy, you know? So I got to compliment her first, you know? <laughs> I mean, they say a daughter's first love should be her father, so... <laughs> my dad called me, like, a few weeks ago. He said, you never called me. I said, you never raised me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's where the disconnect comes. You get a reputation for fucking with people who's not attractive. That sin is stuck on you. Like every fat bitch in the world know you fuck with fat bitches. Like, you like big girls, don't you? Like, goddamn! Oh, I also like athletically built women. It's just a trade-off. I like ass, hips, and thighs. I'm like, fuck it, bring your stomach, bring your stomach. <laughs> But, uh, you know, talking about this whole I am who I am, the thing that kind of like, it challenged me because, you know, people got different perspectives on life. They got different beliefs. They got different lifestyles. <laughs> so we got to kind of learn to coexist. And it's not always easy. Like, I have nothing against, like, homosexuality at all. But now I kind of feel like I can relate to women a lot better than I used to. I was at the grocery store. I'm walking through. I'm looking at women's asses. That's what I go for. You know, oh uh, yeah, yeah, and like loaves of bread and eggs and shit. But I'm walking through and this dude was like, hey, brown skin. I'm like, brown skin, boy in the blue. I'm like, boy in the blue. Bitch, my name is Jason. <laughs> and I'm not gay. I'm happily married. But you know, it kind of threw me off because I don't think I was gay, but when I went home, I felt a little like warm and bubbly that somebody was flirting with me. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's been a while since, like, somebody really let me feel like I was attractive and shit. And then it made it worse, like, you know, my wife feel like, I don't feel like she appreciate me that much, so I'm laying in bed like, I should have got his number. <laughs> like, ain't nothing wrong with having friends. <laughs> but yeah, so, like I said, I'm originally from St. Louis. When I came up here to Kansas City, it was like three and a half years ago. I was, I was kind of tripping. Cause I was, you, anybody ever seen a movie, Pursuit of Happiness? Yeah, you have, it was a good movie, wasn't it? Don't it just make you feel like you can be homeless, sleep outside and make it? <laughs> I tried that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it don't really work out as quick as a fucking movie. <laughs> By my third day up here, I'm sitting on the curb like, God damn, it's been 90 minutes. <laughs> Where's my damn opportunity for some fuck? <laughs> and it's like, you know, I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm a, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a, like, I consider myself, well, a former highly sexual individual. Um, like, I like pussy, it's just what it's attached to that annoys me. 
I get on my nerves, man. I'd be like, damn, bitch, just hand it over. I want to take, take her out, bitch. Matter of fact, you want to know why I'm out here right now? Yeah, I'm in trouble. Just today, she like, hey, you should uh take out the trash. I'm like, bitch, we went out last night. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I was just trying to be funny, you know what I'm saying? I thought she liked my jokes, like the one where I said, I love her forever. 